Hey everyone, okay, so today we're talking brows and some very, very exciting news. But first, let's talk brows. Now, what I like to do, well, what I like to think of brows is, is imagine that a, you're, imagine the most beautiful picture that you've ever seen and it's the most beautiful thing and you want to put that in an amazing frame but you don't want to distract from the picture so you want a frame that frames it beautifully, that gives it life, that makes that photo come to life, that painting, that drawing, whatever it is. You don't want to distract away from the picture by having a frame that's either too dark or too light or too stark or too bright, whatever it may be, because you want the picture to look the most beautiful. And that's how I go about looking at brows, is that I want them to be, at least for me, I want them to be balanced, I want them to not distract away from the picture, but to enhance the picture and make that picture more beautiful. Now if you think about that triangle of light, now the triangle of light starts at the tail of the brow, goes all the way over to the other tail of the brow, and then comes down to a point at the cupid's bow. This is the area that we tend to focus on first when we first see somebody. We focus in this area first. And it's very, very important area because this area here creates light. So when anything is too stark or too shocking, our eyes tend to focus at that rather than at the center of the face, which tends to be the most beautiful. Also that we tend to highlight this area here under the eyes with concealer. We tend to highlight under the brow bone. So we're creating this beautiful illusion, which is why this triangle of light is so important to the face because it's one of the first things that we kind of notice when we see somebody. Now the problem with most um, eyebrow brushes on the market is that most of them are synthetic and the problem with synthetic uh, well particularly a synthetic eyebrow brush where you're actually using it to place color synthetic brushes tend to remove color particularly brow brushes rather than actually lay them down and when you're talking about laying down color on a brow you actually need to place the color not only on the hair but also on the skin which is why the sort of synthetic brushes can be a nuisance because they're just taking away product rather than adding it and also the shapes of some of them are just they're not just they're, they're not right in in my opinion there's something slightly wrong with them so that's why i think it's really difficult to find yourself a really good brow brush because you want one that places color that pushes color and that doesn't remove it because the whole goal is to fill in the brow to create more beauty to create that beautiful frame which brings me to my exciting news. I have created a brow set and here it is. So you can see with this brow set, it is a three step process to so not only doing your brows, but doing your eyelashes as well because this whole area is so important that I wanna make the biggest impact. So the first brush is the eyebrow brush and this is a flat topped, slanted brush that is made from natural hair. And it has a very, very fine point on it, but it's also quite short and very, very firm. And this is amazing for, and I'll talk you through it now of what you can use with this brush. First of all, you can use this with pencil, powder, gels, promades, whatever you want, it will apply the color perfectly. Because of the shape of it, and because it's so short and stubby, you can use it on its angle here and create ultra fine hair-like strokes all the way through the brow if you wish. You could also, if you wanted to create a thicker brow, apply color to it, and in one stroke, go all the way across to the kind of arch here and then all the way down, which would create a very, very natural looking brow. Again, you can just fill it in very, very sparsely. <clears throat> it's also the perfect size as far as I'm concerned since I created it, that you can actually use it this way and pull across as well to create a much thicker, stronger brow. For those of you who are looking to create a really thin brow, very, very 1920s looking, you can absolutely do that because the brush is very, very fine. So you can create a really sharp brow if that's what you're looking for. Also, this brow is, uh, this brush even, is very, very good for applying highlight underneath the brow bone area and above the brow bone area with, with either a liquid or a cream or a powder, which is great. You can also use this to highlight the upper and lower edges of the lips, which works amazingly well. And as mentioned, this brush will actually not only put color into the brow itself on the hair, but it will push it onto the skin and keep it there, which is where we want it. 
So the next brush is the double-ended brush, and I'm gonna talk you through this. So let's start with the long end. This is again a natural hair, and this can be used to, this is how I use it basically, is if you, when you've completed the brow with the brow brush, by going through this, you soften and blend everything. And I'm all about things being very, very soft. So by placing this into the brow and combing through it, you create the perfect blend. Also, if you've used a color that maybe is just too dark, too stark, or too strong, you can use this brush and with firm pressure, place it into the brow and pull, and it will bleed out the color and fade it. So those of you who really like that ombre brow, you can create this by placing it right at the center here, pulling hard, and allowing it to fade and tail off, which will create a very, very beautiful blended brow. Now the second end, and this is the cool end, now this is a synthetic bristles here, right here. Now, first of all, you can use this to declump your mascara if you wish, but you won't need to. Now, if you click here, go on, click it, click it, it'll open into a new window. I will show you in that video, because it's much more detailed, how to use this brush. You're gonna apply mascara to the tips of this brush, and you are going to comb it through your lashes. This will change the way you do your mascara because it creates a fanned out effect with your mascara. No clumping, no lashes sticking together, the most starburst effect that you can get with a mascara because it just creates, because every bristle is so thin that you are combing through each and every one, depositing mascara in this fan-like motion. It is amazing. The link is also in the description bar below as well if you are watching on a mobile device. And we've also got the spoolie brush. Now the spoolie brush is most people know what these look like. Firstly, you can use this to brush up the brows and brushing up the brows is great because it reveals the shape of them. So we can see where there are any areas that need um, filling in or anything like that. We can also then use it to brush and comb them down, which creates a slightly more beautiful, you know, tailored shape. If you have very, very large brows, very thick brows, and you want to make them smaller, you can take a little bit of gel or wax, whatever you want, rub it through the brow, all the way through, and then use the spoolie wand in a downward motion to push the brow down, and then push it up here, and it will create a shorter, uh, you know, a shorter brow without actually having to pluck or anything like that. You can also use this brush, of course, for going through your lashes to begin with, to make sure that they're clean and free of any product, because product falls down when you do your eyeshadow. You can also use it to decomp your mascara if you're using a standard mascara, absolutely fine to do that. So there you go. Now my brushes are made, handmade in Japan, and it takes over 20 people to make the brushes. They are all made by artisans and they are all exquisite with the most expensive and softest materials that we could possibly find. It is, has been a labor of love, these brushes. They are the one thing that I am truly passionate about, even more so than makeup, because brushes can either make or break a look by either making things more difficult or harder. And I wanna make life simpler. I don't wanna spend hours doing makeup. I wanna be able to put it on simply and quickly and have it look amazing. By using the right tools, you can absolutely do that. Now I have done my absolute best to keep the price point as low as possible. This is a three-step synergistic approach to eyebrows and the quality of these, if you have my brushes, you will know, is phenomenal. So the price point was very, very important for me and I promise you, it is as low as I could possibly go, I swear. And there you have it, the three-step system to doing your eyebrows. If you have any comments or questions, then leave them in the comment section below. All the links and everything else you could possibly ever need are in the description bar. Thank you for listening and watching, and I really hope that you love this set as much as I do, because truly, this will, I hope, allow you to create any brow shape you want in any color and any style, but do it in a lot less time with outstanding results. Thank you so much, and I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.